Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Napoleon Total War campaign. Uh, you find us fighting as the Prussian Empire, and we're using the Darth mod. And we're just pushing on to try and take out uh, the areas behind our main battle line, which is in Central Europe. We're trying to take out a place like Portugal, yeah, maybe, maybe Italy, I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't like the idea of leaving Italy unconquered and then trying to take it out the Balkans, to be honest. I'd rather be able to focus all my forces on the um, on the Balkans, I think. I'm not really sure yet. Anyway, anyway, we've done some work already destroying this army in previous battles. We're going to intercept this guy now. And we're going to destroy them, of course. Uh, we've taken some hits, but we're pretty much in a strong position. Let's um, go for this. His units are very, very depleted from a previous battle that we fought, and uh, they don't. The Portuguese don't really stand very much chance. We've got another, another army that's replenishing on the border that's going to head towards um, maybe the Norwegians. I think Danish Norwegians. We need to maybe kill those off. To, to be honest, I think that's probably the next thing we need to do. Use these armies to to uh, clear out the Norwegians. They have some weird territories. They have Gibraltar, Catalonia. Uh, Holland. We really need to launch a kind of preemptive strike on them in a sense. Just make sure if, uh, we can take them out. So we've got lots of artillery. He's got one piece of artillery of course. It's going to be deployed immediately. Uh, I don't like this at all to be honest. The way that we've... Oh we've got... We can deploy over here which is very handy. Which we shall do. We shall put he's got some cav, but um, that's not gonna it's not gonna cause us too much of a problem. Sometimes we have to deploy these guys and then then move them again. There we go. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. I don't think we need to worry too much about the about the cav that he has. We're actually gonna do something pretty simple. We've got some guard we've got a guard battalion here. A guard brigade, rather, that we've been sort of husbanding, keeping as our reserve, which again we're going to keep doing that. And we've got some cav, but not, not full strength units. These are really just fit. They can't really fight at all. I think they need to chase down units to be nice. That's the only way we're going to use them. Get this guy here. Got fusiliers over on this flank. Boom, and we're done. Okay, so he's completely in the wrong place. Let's give him a barrage, and then we'll see where his guy is. I want to hit his artillery, I think. Actually, we keep saying that we can probably. I don't think he got general staff. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry too much about his guys causing us a problem. Coming on over here, so we need to, to move these guys over so they can form up square. Move these guys over to here. Let's run. Uh, we'll move the guard battalion up onto this flank. This is obviously where most of them are going to come from. Oh gosh, they're, they're really making a lot of headway. We need to... We need to really get into square, I think. These guys can shoot them anyway. This is artillery hitting us. We need to go over here. So we can hit these guys and get rid of them because they're just going to keep shelling us otherwise. We can't form square with these guys, unfortunately. Hopefully we can just shoot them. Okay, well actually, they're coming on, aren't they, these guys? So we need to really be very aggressive. I think. See if we can hit his general. Let's come out of square. And continue to move forwards. Continue to move forwards. Interior doors. We could probably hit these guys as they come on, that's what I'm thinking. Wow, we're getting hit quite a lot actually. Let's hit these interior doors because they're they're going to be pretty much rubbish. Uh, he's got artillery coming up. Oh, Kidok. 
are we fixed here? Let's so I'll look and see what I need to do here. Okay, let's move the infantry over here. They're gone, let's move up. Oh my god, they just stopped. I'm sure I clicked on these to attack. They just stopped, literally stopped. Let's run and fire. Let's hold and fire. Let's give them Our men are it. running for I'm sure they are, because they just sort of kind of sat there and didn't do anything really. I want to get the artillery. Jim Staff's moving over, that's interesting. Definitely need to get their their artillery, these guys. Get their artillery, come on. Maybe Achilles General Staff, that's the idea. Bayonet. Bayonet. We've given them a couple of hits. His regiment of cavalry. Okay, let's move Our these men guys. are running, sir. Oh gosh, is it the cavalry unit again? I think. It's a shame. I think we've lost them. Um, okay, let's just see if we can get. No, we've lost our cav. Damn, damn. That was not intelligent how I did that, to be honest. Starting to run, let's, let's go and get that artillery unit, those cav. Move those guys up. Boom, boom, Our men boom. are running for Yeah, he's only a short a small unit actually. Okay, so this should be fine. We can probably go over to that. These two Regiments to move along. Let's move the gym all over. These guys up. Move these guys over. Oh, actually, I'll probably, are running, probably move all these guys over. Actually, I'm being particularly brilliant at doing this. To be honest, let's um, let's get these guys involved use these guys to fire into the back of them. Okay. General's safe, that's good. Giving them a couple of volleys, let's charge in 192, 310, that should work out okay. Let's chase these guys down. Let's go to round shot. Start using, let's concentrate over here now. Charge these guys. Okay. These grenadiers, let's mellow these guys because that's obviously not their strong suit. These are grenadiers, these are guard units, so we need to maybe throw them in. There's the rest of my troops, they should be coming up now. Our men are running, sir. Grenadiers, let's get those involved. Let's get these a uh, chance to fire on them. Give them one one volley and then we'll sort them out. Wow. Why are they running? Let's bring this cav back. Okay, well artillery should be broken. We need to absolutely destroy them to be honest. He's gonna rally. We have to keep the artillery fire on this unit to make sure it continues to retreat. Let's go that way. Let's do that. Right now this should all be basically over over here. Let's take out the artillery. These guys, I think we're going to 
charge the artillery. There's no point in sitting there taking artillery hits from these guys. <clears throat> it's all over, I think. I think our, our guard units were just too good for them, to be honest. Give them a couple of volleys and we'll just push on. This should be pretty much the end of uh, the resistance by the By the Portuguese. Uh, has that unit continued to go? It has, isn't it? We have killed their general, That's sir. good. Now Let's they turn off the break. artillery. It's important we, we destroy them as much as possible, to be honest. 38 left. Okay. Okay. That's done, isn't it? And this should be done fairly shortly. Right, let's continue. We'll just fast forward. Okay, good stuff. Slightly confused battle. Um, I'm glad that we actually moved because they would have come up behind us, of course. They would have actually come on behind us. Although it can be quite an advantage if you box them in around their entrance point. You can just literally destroy them piecemeal as they come on. Um, so this army now has to take... Lisbon, I think, which could be a bit awkward. We may have to besiege and wait for the army to come up from the border once it's it's had some repairs, or maybe we can we can feed some reinforcements in. That's maybe the way to go. Okay, we're just waiting for this this uh, pursuit over here to continue and be finished. Twenty one of them. Okay, there we go. Let's have a look at the losses. I don't think they'll be particularly clever. I've got a feeling we've got some quite high friendly fire. We lost, uh, he lost 1400. He's only got 195, but they only killed 1200, so we killed 200 of their own guys with artillery. Let's see who did what. Musketeers. Uh, we've got some, some upgrades. I mean, the death's heads went up a lot. There's only 20 of them left. But, um, yeah, they will replenish, of course. Now, do we get it? Do we get the city? There's nothing in it. Oh, we do. That's um, peacefully occupied. Right, let's have a look at the information bubbles. Which we captured. Uh, we, quite honestly, it, this doesn't concern us in the least, to be honest. Just get rid of that. We're going to get a revolt here, by the way, in Britain. There's nothing we can do. Portugal's gone. That's good. Agent recruited. Where was the agent? Over, all the way over here. Over here? Where is it? Agent detected. Workers right in England. Unit recruited. Merchant ship in the Adriatic. That was to move units down from... This, uh, these these two stacks, was it just one stack I think? Yeah, just one stack we were going to move down. Yeah. Yes, I think so. What are we doing on generals here? It's actually still, there's still a few guys left. 153. It's replenishing. Replenishing. I think I've got to feed some armies down to be honest. Looking at this. Like maybe move this army to here. This army down towards here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do something on the eastern front. Right, okay, so we've got a couple of armies over here that we took out the. Um, well, not over here, just uh, moving towards Paris and here. And I think the aim here is going to be to attack the Norwegians. I have a territory here, Catalonia. I think this army here is going to move down. I don't think it can quite reach, but we're going to move it down to here. Let's speed things up. Hopefully it will replenish and we'll just sit it literally next to Barcelona. This army here needs to replenish and sit here. Sit here. We have also access to their territory. 
Oh, we're not going to replenish if we sit there, are we? Let's go across the border. Let's go to here. And then we'll replenish. Can't see that we're going to be able to do very much here. Need to repair stuff, of course, and do that. We're never going to recruit here, so it's just not worth having. We'll repair the fortress because I think it has a. It has a, no, perhaps it doesn't. Perhaps it doesn't. It's a waste of money. Maybe can we destroy it? Dismantle it. We'll just literally do that. We'll do a tax office here, I think, to get some money. People have been saying to me that I do need to, and obviously I, I realise that we need to. Um, we're not going to be able to move out of here, I don't think. It's only two at the moment. So we we'll maybe sit here and replenish. Just for a, it's going to take a while to actually get to a situation where we can attack the all the territories of the Norwegians. Actually, thinking about it, what have you got here? Is this militia? No, it's line infantry and stuff. Oof, so that's going to be difficult. So we probably need two armies to take out here. Not really sure what he's got here at the moment, so we'll, we'll send this down and we'll see, see how we're fixed. We've got one army here, we need two armies. These guys need to stay in Britain at the moment with the general. It's not a particularly brilliant general actually. They've got three stars. Okay, so we'll keep that there. What have we got here? Two guys. So we need to move these guys up to here. Let's move the spy up to... Oh gosh, he's blocking us there. Let's move the spy to here. And here. And here. Right, so these guys are replenishing. My tax office, I think. Court of Justice? Yeah, Court of Justice, I think. Theatre, theatre. I think this is fine. I think this is. I mean, obviously, the Court of Justice has the effect of increasing um, taxes to, to regions. This is actually fine, to be honest. So, you don't need to do. You can probably move this army up to here. So probably we are going to move this army up to here, not probably. Um, right. Okay, I think we've got some more. No, actually, we must have moved those troops down from Scotland. The the rebellion will occur in Britain, in England rather. I'm pretty certain that's the way it works. Replenish it almost up to strength. We need to centralise our forces. This is up to strength. So we're just going to put these just north of London. Going to do with the navy? Probably go trading. Let's go trading. Let's see what what happens over here. Nine hundred. That's good. Um, we'll put two ships, I think, into there. We'll leave one ship to transport guys. Um, that would be a bridge battle if we fight that, so that would not be good. We need to really attack the rear of here. See that? I mean, you know, he has. It's pretty disparate his territory, so we really need to. <clears throat> To a tax office, I think. Okay, uh, I say the Norwegians are next. I think, regardless of the diplomatic consequences, we must get rid of the Norwegians. There's no way Danish Norwegians that can we can keep them. It's got to be a knockout blow. So I need to maybe build up an army here to attack here. But they've still got this territory up here, so we've got to take them all out at one go. Um, wow, this is going to be difficult, I think. Well, we need need more artillery here. We've got two more artillery coming. Uh, plus, can we get a general? We've got seven of seven. But I think we 
constructing. Are we constructing anything? No, we need general staff now. Let's have a look at the search and technology. What are we actually doing? General staff research. So it's money now. I need 12,000 for your staff college. So that will be next turn, I think. Okay. So we can probably let's recruit one more guy. It's in the army already. Jaeger, Fusiliers. Maybe we'll have. Fusiliers are pretty good. Uh, although these are, these are obviously the most cost effective troops we can get. The Musketeers, particularly with the two Chevron upgrade immediately. Okay, so Russia hasn't attacked us yet. These guys here. These guys here. Probably need a general on this front. Not probably, we do need a general. Foot guards, he's a bit of a waste to be honest. Um, they could do with being in a more active role, I think. Yeah, we've definitely got to have a general on this front, so we're going to put this guy into here and we move some of the guards out. Oops. There we go. Right, so this guy will move to here. They're still replenishing at the moment, so you need to leave them for a turn. These guys are still replenishing. You can probably can we force a battle here? He's got and he's probably gonna raid this gold mine if we don't do something. So we are gonna have to go around and kill this guy. Probably a cavalry unit would do it. Uh, let's go that way, so we don't lose a unit. 120 against 133 land where I think that that would do it. Okay, so I don't think we're in a position where we can actually take out the the Austrians yet. I just don't feel that confident enough to be able to do that. I think what we're going to do, we're going to shuffle our armies around, move an army north. I'll explain what I mean by that, so we can take out the Norwegians. So, there's no general here, but we want to get into a position where we can lay an ambush. These guys are going to move up to here. Scharnhorst will be based in Vienna. We'll take von Bulow up towards um, the north. You can go to here. These will sit in here. Whoops, let's just. These guys will move up to. Gosh, is it really the artillery that's holding us up? Hmm, it is. Um, yeah, I'm just going to detach one unit of um, cavalry to here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, just go there, just go there. That'll do it. One unit will be enough. I'll put one unit over here. And what we're going to do... Um, we need to put Bullo into that army here. We need to move it up to here, but minus one cavalry. So if we do this, this is a good unit. We'll take out this guy. Let's move around to here. This guy's going to move north up towards Berlin, from Bullo is. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. We're fairly thin on the ground. We've got one, two, three. They're not in particularly good supporting positions either. This army, I think we need to move south. I think we really do. We need to shuffle this army down to here, this one to here, so that we can support, maybe have an army around this area that can support Olmitz and Vienna, because that's where the Austrians are going to be coming from. Uh, okay, can this guy do anything? 
Can we move any further forward? I don't think we can. So we have to maybe do this. Okay, let's fight this. Obviously we're just going to use the cav to charge into them and chase them down. Hopefully they won't be able to get a volley on us. Yeah, we've got to basically blitz the all the um, Norwegian troops at one go and they just see what the consequences are. I think they're probably Sweden and Russia. Oh gosh, I've had this sound problem before actually. For some reason it just suddenly... He has a problem. Uh, he didn't actually move then, did he? Let's go over here. What I want to do is attack them over a ridge. I'll explain the reason for that. They can't get a, a they can't get a volley on us if the, if we do that. A glorious victory, sir! And is soon to be yours. Running? I think they could be running. I think they might be running. See if we can just follow our guys in. Follow them in. Let's just see. Oh, they're forming up. Charge! 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 Don't get them. Don't let them get a volley on us. Come on, guys. Damn this weather, sir! Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. I don't think they got a volley on us. Well, these are horse guards, and these are like farm boys, basically. So they're not going to stand for very long, I don't think. Can maybe throw some more cab in if, we, if, if they can reach in time. Wavering. I'm doing fine, I think. Not oh, Blucher involved. Let's get um, cab, all these cab involved. Didn't lose anyone actually, didn't lose a single guy. Okay, let's continue because we want to destroy this, this group. Okay, that's all done and dusted, I think. There we go. Not really that heroic, was it? It's really weird. The the appellation heroic is ridiculous, really. You've got like a whole stack against one guy. Okay, so he can go back into here. Boy, he can go back into here. And we're going to move north with this army. Let's take out here. This army here, once it's up to strength, will move up to Christiania. Do you have a ship here? We need a ship, really. Um, maybe we can use... I don't want to build ships unnecessarily. We're going to, build, we're going to bring this ship up to... Holberg, I think. Oh, we do have a port here. We don't. Let's bring a ship up to here. Actually, we should have stopped and seen. It doesn't really matter what's up here. Even if it's a stack, we're still going to take it out. Okay, so we're fine as regards armies. I think we have enough armies. We'll have a stack here to attack Christiani. Stack. Bluco will attack Copenhagen. Uh, these two stacks will attack Amsterdam. This is a little problematical down here. We don't really know what he's got down here with this stack to take them on. We'll maybe have a look and see what he's got. Uh, I think I need to do some investment. Basically, I think I really need to try and improve my monetary situation, which will start in here. Is there anything else we can build? Ordnance gives us howitzers. Perhaps we'll build the ordnance board. There we go, that's the money gone. We'll save the rest to make sure we have enough to do the um, the upgrades. Uh, to the uh, this one here, the staff college. Obviously we need that. Moving our spy down south. Let's sit on Belgrade, see what he's got in Belgrade. Not very much. We can't reach it because um, the Russians' territory lies between us and them. Could probably, probably keep a spy here to see what's going on. This guy should sit on the bridge. He can monitor what's happening in Budapest. 
Okay, oh, we've got a spy here over in Lemberg. He's in a good position just to monitor what's going on here. Spy here. Yeah, not much coming down the road to be honest. Am I okay on this eastern front? I think we are. With two armies and a general, we should be fine. So I'll literally move this army to this position, this army to Olmitz, this army to maybe between Olmitz and Vienna. There's a reinforcing army, and then this army down here will stay where it is. No general here, of course. It's a bit of a pain. I'm wondering about. We might lose this ship if we send it down, but I'm wondering about having a little scout around to see what they've got down here. He's actually got a navy down here, a lot of ships, so we can't do that. Yeah, there's just no way of uh, sorting that out, to be honest. Okay, I think we're in a position to end the turn. We could check out diplomacy, but strategically we've no option but to take out the Kingdom of Denmark, Norway. I mean, it's going to cause us problems because their allies are Russia, Sweden, Mecklenburg, Australia, so we could end up at war with them as well. Um, so we're going to have to watch Mecklenburg, Australia because they've got a lot of troops. Line infantry, Jaeger. My god, we've got a lot of troops. If they decide to attack Berlin, that could be quite awkward. So I think what we might have to do is shuffle this army here back towards here I think I think that's what we're gonna to have to do and in fact we could start that now I think this army I think this if this army moves here this army moves into here and this one moves along the coast to here the way to do it and this one well they'll have to replenish when they can so we need another army basically just to, to make sure that we can hold uh, these guys from both threats. You've got to assume that they're going to attack us. Okay, right, we're really stretched as you can see, having to fight um, a number of difficult battles. I don't think we can afford to produce another army at the moment. So we're going to end the turn and let's see what happens. Trade agreement? Uh, really? Make a counter offer. Let's give them some technology. Okay, that's fine. They're fighting the um, the Norwegians at the moment. Russians don't attack us, please. Please don't attack us. That would be very awkward to face. We're all over the place at the moment. We're very stretched at the moment. Rebellion. Let's have a look and see what happened in Rebellion. Okay. Well, there's one stack. That's not... Oh no, there's two stacks. <laughs> two stacks. Okay. One south, one in the downs to the south. Still not quite up to strength, but we've got some pretty good troops here. I think we can probably deal with this. Uh, nine. Gets it down to five. Okay. Well, that's we can deal with that. I'm sure we can. But first of all, what we're going to do we will be fighting this of course we're going to build the army staff college 12,000 gone straight away um, what does that do which one affects minus 5% right, it's not really worth having that not at the moment anyway um, let's put a ship in here we need to sit in Cristiano with this army I think so I'm going to use the board here. This army will head towards Christiania. Let's get on board. Boom, boom. And let's just redeploy these guys here. Generally in Konigsberg. These guys in here. Can't shuffle armies down now, can we? Can't do that. Let's go here. Yeah towards Berlin it gives us two armies one of which will act as a garrison force against the Mecklenburg we won't try and take Mecklenburg immediately we'll just be defensive against Mecklenburg um, if we attack Mecklenburg what happens who are they armed with Russia Sweden Kingdom of Denmark and Norway so that's uh, yeah, we're gonna 
We're going to have to take a consequence of maybe them attacking us. Gosh. Rebellion, recruitment, Brandenburg, Brandenburg, Brandenburg. And we've done a magistrate in Wales. Okay, let's continue to move south. Spy here, actually. Let's move him down and see if we can try and find out what's happening down here. Ah, oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I think we can probably do it. Come down. We're not actually re replenishing at the moment, so let's go to the supply depot. Now replenish. We should be able to get up to strength. That's pretty good, actually. These guys are still replenishing. So you're going to sit here replenishing for a turn or so. That will hopefully get public order into a reasonable state. Can we move? Can we move? Minus three, but we're giving up a lot of money there, and, and as we have already um, hmm, seven fifty. We'll do that. We'll do that. We're going to move back in for the simple reason that we need to replenish anyway. Um, so two stacks to take on this army stack to take on this one. Hopefully this stack won't move. Well, it's all militia. That looks it. Although, I don't know, all this could be line infantry. No, so we need to try and make sure this guy stays away from uh, supporting that, that group. Um, okay. So we've got this army here. It looks to me as if he's going to literally just sit on that bridge. Um... Still move, move the spies, continue to move the spies east. Move this one round to here. Okay, this uh, replenishing doesn't have a... Doesn't have a general. And this doesn't have a general either. Right, we need to get some artillery in this army. There's no artillery. We need four... Or artillery, I think. I need 12 pounders. Yeah, we definitely need some artillery in here because it's just very low on artillery. Yeah, I think four is a good. Um, maybe three or four is a good match. What I'm going to do is. Can we get some decent cav here? Can we get some more cav in here? Yeah. Okay, that's better. That's a better balance. Right, now we need to take out this army here. We need to completely destroy it, of course. And the way to do that would be to move all these guys up, apart from this guy. Just move them here. Are we going to get intercepted? Let's see. No, we don't. Obviously, they don't stand a chance. Uh, let's take this guy here, move him in here, uh, move him into here, move into the city because it's still, still completely out of control. Uh, let's just kill the first lot. That's good. They didn't reinforce. A lot of dragoons, artillery. I mean, look at the experience: uh, 44, 14, 14, 8. 44, 14, 14, 8. So, their accuracy of these guys is above our guys by a lot. But our melee is 16, our melee attack is 16, and their defence is 14. So, we've just got the edge. Their morale is 8, as is 11. So, on morale and. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's kill the first of these armies and then we can, maybe we'll have to fight the next battle in the next episode to try and get rid of these um, these rebels. Damn rebels! Let's hope it's not wet. Let's hope it's not raining. We should be able to clean up this area, get some more experience for our troops. 
and that will release another two armies to maybe move um, towards Sweden. Sweden's obviously going to be not very happy, and also Mecklenburg Strelitz is not going to be very happy. It's going to take a turn or so to actually get in position ready to knock out the Norwegians, Sweet Danish Norwegian Empire. Okay, so no rain, which is good. He's moved back. We've got a city in between us, no, not a city, a village. He does have dragoons, but uh, I think we can afford to put our guys into a barrage. Uh, we have a lot of good troops, actually. Let's go. Uh, that's going to hold us up, I think. He has moved. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Jaeger. We'll put the Jaeger here because they're going to put out there. Just going to put this guy here as a reserve near the general. Uh, right. Yeah, sometimes it turns things off. Okay, well, we're a little bit. This battery is a little bit close, so we're going to put them a bit further back so they can maybe fire. Let's general get the general out of the way. Um, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. He does have a lot of artillery, or two units of artillery, so we're going to try and swing around and take out his artillery. I don't think our light cav can stand his um, his dragoons. I think that they're they're better than ours. We could probably use this unit to maybe assassinate some of these guys. And he hasn't got a proper general. It's just a dragoon unit. Maybe just use these guys to really push on. Maybe try and take out. Well, let's do, let's just start off by shelling them anyway. Let's start off by shelling the artillery. Let's do that. A glorious victory, sir. That. Soon to We're be yours. Come up and try and see if we can attack them. Now we need to move forwards, I think. I didn't like where we were, to be honest. We need to be maybe where these trees are. And maybe form up here. Take advantage of this. Move the lances round. Over here. Let's run. So we're going to get hit by our own artillery. These guys are going to put out their stakes and then they're going to get in here. Wow, the dragoons are really going for it. Let's, uh, we're going to take a bit of a hit here. Let's go back, go back, go back. Go back, let's go back. We need to run, basically, to get into position. Run, run, run. Draw them on, draw them on. Let's move the cab up. Gonna come in from the flank. Now he's actually put his dragoons over this side. Let's get right to the rear. Pull through. Wow! How did they get through? They're gonna hit the um Actually just as well we actually put that these stakes up because to be honest they've come right the way through our line run 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 right okay Let's hit these guys we're gonna actually we're going to pull out of this battle. It's more important we destroy their artillery. Okay, that's going okay. What happened to that unit that was sitting there? Maybe he's going for the general. I really think maybe he was going for the general. Where's those lancers? Did I have them there? Let's get those round and take out these guys on the rear. Move on the end of the line. Uh, Some more barrage. Uh, our general is under attack. Is he? Let's go back. It's probably the artillery, isn't it? Now, I said pull out of here and go for his um, artillery. Everyone pull out. They're wavering. 
We don't want these guys to escape because they're, they're just going to cause us more problems, to be honest. Right, let's charge in from the flank. Guys out of square, it's a bit redundant now as we're actually front and back, they've been charged by Cav, let's move forwards. Give them the bayonet. Okay, these these cavalry are just not um, They're not disengaging at all, to be honest. Oh we'll just leave them in. We'll leave them in. Leave them fighting. Okay, let's push up. Where's the Lancers? They might actually rally, it's possible. Oh gosh, this unit took a volley then. Get after them, come on, get after them. It's very important that we don't let them escape. What's my artillery doing? Is he doing stupid stuff now? I think we're gonna we're actually gonna settle it up. Come on, it's very important that we don't let these guys escape. Right, let's move these guys up. Units has used all its Actually, morale is, is like a big issue with them, to be honest. It's a big, big thing. Let's continue to destroy these guys. Please do not escape. Okay, so I think we're... Most guys are being pursued down now. going slowly. Some more dragoons here. We need to bring up our reserves. Still got more dragoons here that are fresh, so um it's just tired actually which is interesting. Okay, so it's turned into a route basically. How are we doing here? 67? 153, we've definitely got to kill that unit off. What's this guy doing? Let's bring him over here to help finish off these guys. Then we've got a cavalry unit against both then. Oh, let's get back to the main battle, a bit neglecting it a bit. Okay, they're gone. 21. Let's get this cavalry unit involved. Let's throw two units in against that one and throw one unit in against these. Oh, they've hit the um, edge of the map now, so we can't do anything against them. Uh, okay, I assume that they have as well, actually guys over there so um, yeah they've hit the edge of the map so we can't do anything about those let's continue so I'm gonna because these guys will survive and cause us more problems so the more guys we can kill the better whilst they're running away that wasn't too good 120 odd survived and got got away from us what's happening over here close victory Okay, now let's have a look and see see what's actually left. Because we might be able to attack that. It will retreat slightly. We might be able to attack it and then draw this, this other stack in. Wow, the Lancers killed nearly 600. 
pretty good, pretty good actually. Quite high losses amongst the cav. Ah, so we might be able to attack this and bring these guys in. That's the way I'm going to play it, I think. Uh, we'll get our reinforcing guys to come in and, and make up a full, full stacks on these guys. We've got plenty of cav. Uh, we should have a full stack. A full stack will be enough to take out these rebels, I feel. Uh, but I think that will be in the next episode. I think we're around about 50 minutes or so. So we'll be playing, playing the next battle. Um, yeah, by attacking here just north of Portsmouth. That will bring Engelbert Buckle in on, on the reinforce, reinforcing army on our left. No, on our right, actually, as, as we face Maximum Edgerton. He's got um, one, two, three, maybe a couple, maybe Cav, maybe Six Pounder. Three very depleted um, foot regiments, just one brigade. But here, of course, we've seen they're quite high accuracy. So we don't want to get into a, a sort of firefight with these. We want to give them a bum's rush, attack them quick, get the cavalry in, and uh, not let them stand and shoot at us, basically. But I'm sure we've got enough troops here to, to handle this. Okay, thanks for your time watching. We'll be speaking to you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.